G'day guys, we're out here today on a Don Pye to Alice Springs, to Rain Tamer. We've been on the road for about six weeks and um, we're not usually in the business of breaking stuff. But this has been a very challenging trip. We've broken a lot of shit. First of all, when we left Melbourne, we blew the Hilux up. We didn't get far. Just back at Melbourne, we swapped out. We got the cruiser. And um, we headed up to the desert. We got a bit held up with a lot of rain the whole trip. Uh, but we got it done. And then we end up driving through about 250 k's of mud. And that destroyed all vehicles, brakes, about nine vehicles. All the brakes were shot in them. Uh, the cruiser brakes were metal on metal, the, uh, the patrol pads fell out completely. The tow bar snapped off with the trailer on. I've got to get it up. I've got it. Yes. The exhaust shack's good. Oh yeah, all my, tra all my uh, gearbox oil fell out of my transfer case on the bins track in the Simpson Desert. Got enough oil? Yeah, I think Shane's got us covered, mate. The fuel pump stopped working out there. Oh, he's pretty bumped, wasn't he? Oh, mate. <laughs> Had a crack. <laughs> we used two winches, and that put um, Bruce's car on the back of mine as an anchor. No, but it was deep, mate. That mud just, there was just not easy. No bottom to it. So, was, was it on the road? Oh, yeah, my rim exploded. The rim exploded apart and the tyre went falling off and this went flying down the road at 100 k's an hour. That was something. We thought we had a flat, just went oh, oh, hit the brakes and just snap, bang, and the wheel just flew off the side as the car dropped down. Yeah, you the trailer on, then the wheel nearly hit this bloke. So Simpson Desert, around there, in and out, and around the Simpson Desert, we did the McDonald Rages here at Alice Springs. And then we headed up into the Gulf and it was wet, wet as... Yeah, love it, love it, feet got wet but we made it. And we were buried up there on Morella Springs for seven hours one day. Broken winch rope come extension which broke again. That's the uh, the other part to this winch extension. That's snap, snap extension. Another snap extension. Another snap one. Oh yeah, and a snap winch rope which is in the trailer. We had about 200 meters. About 200 meters there. Busted a max track. Well, we bend it in half. I like the car and it's a bit straightened. It's certainly come quite good and can keep working. Now, if you're going to get max tracks and you're serious about getting off road, get the extremes. They've got so much more grip than the standard. Standard will find if you're serious about going off road, get the extremes. A lot more grip, a lot hardier. We've been apart a little bit, but we're going to replace all the uh, studs in them whatever's needed, so but they're bloody good, they're the go for sure. Two things I'm really concerned about when in the bush, one is wheels falling off, we had that, and the other is fire. We almost had that. We pretty much did have an electrical fire. Yeah, yeah so, cheap compressors. Don't get them. This compressor that I had, apparently it draws 90 amps. This was the standard wiring loop on this compressor. And it's just melted. It's joined the uh, positive and negative up, and it's just uh, decided to continue on going down. Luckily, I knew where to cut the wire. So I knew where to cut the wire, so I was able to save, I was able to save the cruiser. 
but um, you can see what, what's happened there. Uh, and that was all the way to the starter battery. A lot of smoke, a lot of mountain plastic, that almost out of fire. Yeah, that was the K1 for the car, so the whole thing had just absolutely had so much current going through it. Destroyed it. <laughs> These things are pretty handy. Yeah, yeah. Well, this was, uh, this was on the trailer. Take it off, strap it up, and get to camp. Currently, we're sitting to the shots. Strapped up at the moment, so it's pretty nice Always go on about it. People still say to me, oh, I can come, I've got to stand suspension. They can't. Oh, yeah, my mirrors. These stupid mirrors on my car. They fell out, smashed on the ground, one of them. The other one I've still got using it as a vanity mirror now. Upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. Yeah, I blew my motorbike up. Blew that up. charger in the trailer that basically runs my dual battery system that stopped working completely so uh, we had to run it with them in the car didn't have any power in the trailer That's something else you've got to be up to speed with your with your 12 volt and your bloody bush mechanic skills you don't have to be a mechanic you've got to be a good bush mechanic to try and, and be adaptive Come up with different ideas to try and get yourself out of all the trouble that you can get in if you're going to do this stuff. Now, as I said, we're not in the business of breaking cars, but it was the end of the wet. And uh, to be fair, after the first two groups, it was a boys' trip then, and we got ourselves in a bit of mischief. But, <laughs> but we got out, and it was all good. So now we're here, Don Kites are going to fix up the cruiser for me because I've got another 15 or 20,000 Ks to go. So she's getting a bit of work done. I was going to chuck in some of their remote res shocks because uh, when the wheel fell off, I ground the bottom mount off the shock and the spring plate, so that was fun. Get some new mirrors, MSA, looking forward to that. I'm even getting a couple of cup holders in the cruiser. Can't wait. So that's it. We've got a lot more cases to go, so keep going. Thanks, boys. Good trip. had a couple of new additions uh, one is the new rims after we had the rim explosion we got um, six new rims there there are uh, quite me they're 15 or 1600 kilo uh, load rating so we got them there on from Procomp so that's good I'm gonna feel much safer driving now As it turns out the older ones we had you know they were quite early and they were only 1200 50 kilo load rating might have something to do with it but whatever we've got new ones so i feel much better uh, the other thing is we're giving a run uh, the remote res pro shocks from terrain tamer they are adjustable they have seven different settings and uh, we're going to be using them all in the next few weeks are going to be on mostly corrugated roads lots of them quite bad for long periods of time so that's going to test out the suspension the new shocks really well uh, my airbag's still buggered but that's all right we'll get them done next time my new mirrors msa mirrors they are power folding and adjustable whatever they come out they flip around and they're way smaller but got heaps of vision so really good stoked with those just got to wire them up and then they're power fold in and out they can indicate luxury them. upgrade for the cruiser alarm rest from Connect 4x4 Accessories down in Melbourne. Armrest, cup holder, knick-knack holder there, absolutely perfect because you can't really use, it's too low, the standard, and up here it's bloody steel. So here we got that, bit of a service, brakes, a few other things, we're ready to go. So thanks to the boys here at uh, Train Tame at Don Kites in Alice Springs for getting us going. We'll be back here in a month to get our parabolic springs on that we've got fitted on the Hilux. I absolutely love them and I'm looking forward to getting them on the cruiser because the ones we've got on there aren't quite doing the job as far as load goes. So that'll be next time in a month. So there we go. All right, that's it. We're out.